and I hope my hair's not showing. But like another reason I might get in fights with certain women like Kristen is because they were raised in this way where they were always made the center of attention and maybe it wasn't even their parents probably but maybe not they just always have to be the center of attention whereas me i would rather hide you know be make nice conversations that are just very you know whatever meaningful but not to whatever and then just find a man who just a husband who I can be the center of attention for until we have kids and then they're the center of attention so I don't know if Kristen will ever understand not being the center of attention and the same with probably Margaret Laura Katie Katie from high school they just have to be a center of attention. You know, probably even in their family. Maybe they're also very controlling. They don't know how to take a feminine role in the family life. Maybe they have to be the the ones who wear the pants <laughs> in the family. So, that's probably why I fight with them. Because I get attention mainly just making little videos which is something that i just end up doing to try to keep our people alive from these fucking people that hate us and want to kill our people and then try to explain muslim women and people and it's like we don't want to be the center of attention to anyone but our husband and then when we have kids our kids are the center of attention you know except at night because you have to keep the romance alive. But unless they're infants. You know, it's very easy. It's just knowing how to not be the center of attention. It's a not... Like, I know a lot of people are like... I mean, a Muslim family... Of course, me to speak of a Muslim family is also probably not exactly what I should do. Because I was not raised in a Muslim family. I'm Muslim, but I've never had a Muslim husband that was even Muslim enough to make our marriage last. So, I think I've had a lot of fake Muslim husbands. Men pretending to be Muslim and not really knowing what it means. But, uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's... Muslim marriages are not about having, like, the woman has has her own control of the home, but she doesn't dominate the man at home. It's an equal partnership with the children as the focal points, which we don't even want to tell people that because these fucking Israelis kill our children. So it's like, sorry, I'm telling that. You know, it's scary to even say how important our children are to us because the fucking most strange people in the world with no soul are killing our children. So, are trying to. So, but... I don't know. I don't know. Once again, I don't want to be a center of attention for anyone but the right husband for me. And my son is also a center of attention. But I don't want him to grow up. Well, I don't know. He's male. So if he grows up wanting to be the center of attention, I'm okay with that. But who knows? Maybe my little... It would be funny if my son was like, well, Maudie. But that would mean the end of the earth in the next, like, 80 years. But... I hope my son survives this. And I don't think people understand what some people have never had night terrors about deranged 
Israelis and their supporters like the Long Creek clan trying to eat your children's arms or legs. I don't think people understand what that's like. You know, supposedly they bitch. I think maybe some of them are like, Oh, my brains were getting eaten in my sleep. To me, my kids' arms and legs getting taken off is scarier than my brains getting eaten. But I don't want either. So. But yeah. I think these women who hate me so much should work on not trying to be the center of everybody's attention all the time. Yeah, work on being the center of their husband's attention, the center of their kids' attention, not everybody's center of attention. But then I end up having to speak for everybody, and I feel like I'm taking a center of attention point, but it's because if we do not explain ourselves nonstop to these fucking hateful people, then our people get killed. So they're forcing us to open up in this way that we would much rather be private people about our own lives and family lives and children and how we feel. So we feel very forced to talk about such things that we would never like to fucking talk about. 